SAT scores, a number that could have a big influence on a student's future. I was incredibly nervous, like the entire time. But I went in there and I took the test and I did pretty well. Anthony Morrow got 1,500 out of 1,600 and has applied to Ivy League colleges like Harvard. Morrow goes to Manesson High School, a school that has seen a significant increase in SAT scores. In 2016, the school ranked 534 in the state. The next year, it jumped to 304. Dr. Leanne Spazak is the superintendent for the district and says last year the school had eight valedictorians. She believes that helped the school make the jump. There's a lot of factors involved. You know, we have a great curriculum. We have awesome teachers. Rob Nemick is one of them. He teaches math in six-week SAT prep courses that help students study high-scoring strategies. It is a test that you can absolutely prepare for and improve your scores. Nemec says students can take the SAT test, then in a few weeks get the answers. He says studying the answers and explanations before taking a similar SAT test again works. The best questions are the ones that are being provided by the people that write the test. There's also free online courses to get students ready. Morrow says Nemec prepped him for his high score. The day I got my scores back, I went right up to him and just said, hey, take a look at this and Man, he, he was, he just gave me a hug, you know, he was really proud. <laughs> College admissions counselors like Alexis Howard from Seton Hill University say the higher the score, the better. So our average usually is right around about an 1100 on the SAT. But she says every student is different and being well-rounded helps. That's why the college has test optional admissions for students with a 3.3 GPA or higher. And that's where um, rather than sending in test scores, they can send in some other supplemental materials. Pittsburgh's Action News 4 uncovered schools rising in the ranks in our area, but we also talked with school officials of ones that have fallen, like Brentwood High School. In 2016, it ranked 351 in the state. Last year, only 5'11". The principal, Jason Alexa, says there are several reasons why the school dropped. One reason? Students aren't taking the test, and he believes many of those students would have done well. A number of students who are not taking the SAT and are opting to go through the community college route and then transfer into four-year school. Mainly that's because of cost of four-year universities and college. He says the school also has many students learning English as their second or third language. Our English language learner population has increased uh, over the last three years, like just speaking for the high school. Um, in 2016, we had 5% of our student population was ELL. This year, we have 14% of our population is ELL. Alexa says school officials plan to study the scores, meet with students, and work on ways to improve. The best, the best thing about our country and the educational system that you have is no matter no matter if standardized tests are difficult for you or no matter what challenges you have educationally, there's always opportunities.